and welcome back to Anno 1800 campaign. We are back here in Sleepy Hollow and we've just finished this last phase of our excavation site. So let's do that. Who are all these busybodies? Blowing up rocks can't be that complicated. A shame you can't appreciate the craft this requires. Never mind. The charges have been primed. The perimeter cleared. We are ready to detonate. Boom. <laughs> My apologies! That was indeed impressive! Is there anything dynamite won't solve, I wonder? Kaboom. And we're in the press again with that. Explosive development, a big blast in the mountains secures vital iron load for ambitious good siblings. Venturing into warship manufacture for the monarch herself. Iron into steel, steel into arms, and we shall have fulfilled our first royal commission. Indeed. Now it's up to us to build an iron mine. I'm going to place a warehouse here. Let's go to the workers. There's the steel beams. And we need an iron mine first. This one here. And we need a charcoal kin, which is over here. So it needs wood to burn that. And then we can build a furnace. And steel works. Oh my, those buildings are getting bigger and bigger. There is no shame in producing weapons if it is in defense of the realm, eldest. So there we have our steelworks. And as you can see, it kind of pollutes the air where these buildings stand. So I think. Um, it also reduces the attractiveness of my town. Yeah, pollution minus 20. So I shouldn't be building so many um, fab uh, pollution oh, bu uh, producing it's buildings like that in on my main island. But this is the campaign, so we know that now in sandbox mode we shouldn't do that. And we lack quite a lot of workers. So let's build a few more houses and then upgrade some farmers and sleepy hollow is growing and growing let's also have a row here Perfect. We still have some resources left because I need workers. Let's see what we should upgrade. And let's also have a, a look at our goods. Um, we don't want to be caught with without any fish, for example. So fish is... Mm, it's not that high anymore. So it's equal at the moment indifferent and that is bad because we just expanded so we have more people now that means we have to build another fishery let's have it here in our harbor and they lack workers so they're not producing anything right now or only 50% So we need to address this issue first. Is there another ruin somewhere that I can demolish? There is one, perfect. That looks really dirty.
And I hope the ratio is right. So it's one to one to one to one. Everything. We'll see about that. Yeah, and fish is, is going down now. So I built another fishery, but perhaps I still need another one. And let's also have a warehouse here because I don't think our harbor warehouse can do all that. It is not pretty here. Not a pretty harbor yet. Perhaps we have to build one at some point. And perhaps we can afford it at some point. Looking good so far. And we need to have a weapon factory now. Let's see. There's the weapon factory and we need uh, steel for that. Oh, I need to get rid of the steel works it seems. Or perhaps this one here can produce for two of those buildings. Probably. So let's have let's have it here. Oh, it costs me steel beams. Okay, so I just need to wait for the steel beams first. And then I can have that. Um, but we definitely need more workers. Let's upgrade. And some more here. And we have unlocked, or we are close to unlocking, a quaint park. And we have to produce beer and a police station. We can already build that, but I'm not doing that now. And a church. Look at that. There's no chapel anymore. So the pub replaced the chapel. In every Anno game you had to start with a chapel. Um, except the futuristic ones, of course. And this time we have to start with a pub. I like that much more. I'd rather go to a pub than a chapel. Life's fine as a new turnip. Let's upgrade a few more houses here. Four more. So we are closing in now on our demand for labor. And I've got a lot of wool, so I do have some resources left for the work clothes. I do have enough of sails that is good for my ships that I want to build at some point. Um, but we are always a bit low on timber. Should I build another timber production? There's another ruin here that we can demolish. There is some timber. There's still some ruins left here. And each ruin that I um, demolish, I get some attractiveness back. So the, I think, vulgarity it is. Yeah, there's still minus eight for ruins, but the slaughterhouse is shortage. bigger, even. So the slaughterhouse is reducing um, the attractiveness as well. But people need meat. I need to build it somewhere. Some bricks. And there is another ruin. Yeah. A water mill. There's a water mill. Yeah, okay, it's close to the river, so let's say it counts as a water mill. And there we have some timber again. Beautiful. And let's upgrade. Okay, now I finally have all the workers and my steelwork should produce enough. Let's build a second iron mine here. This one doesn't look like it's fully loaded. But there is a reason that we have two iron mines here, you know, two iron deposits. So let's just build two. And I yeah, I think it's not really pretty that we have these steamworks there because the land is going uphill to that direction so everyone can see those ugly buildings. Still need to build the we weapon factory, so let's do that. And another steelworks, I think. And now we can have the weapon factory here.
Okay, I just need two more uh, steel beams before I can finish this one here. But I've got the blueprint already. There's still worker missing. Oh, they consume a lot of workers as far as I can see. Yeah, 200 just for this one. We've run out of gabbies. And 100 workers for this one here. So I need to build quite a lot more houses to maintain that workforce demand. And we do have enough timber anyway, so we, we, we are able to expand. So I have a few more houses over here. And also here. And there's the fire station. I don't want to necessarily um, demolish it because it takes quite some time. But what I can do is, yeah, I could have full row outlined here. And I think this works better. And then we can have some more houses here. Like so. We should have more timber from the water mill. Oh, I collected that. There are the bricks. And there is another manor house. And I think we're done with the ruins then. Looks like it. There are oil fields here. Very important resource later on. Especially when you unlock electricity. So we're just really in the very early stages of this game, trust me. Um, I've seen quite a bit in the close beta and um, from the reviews, there is a lot going on later on. So it's huge this game, it, it actually just unlocks with the engineers and the investors that you get because you then unlock electricity and trains and oil and you need to uh, redefine your whole island with that. Very interesting. And then we still haven't unlocked a new world yet. I'm eager to see that as well. We're still only here in Sleepy Hollow. I don't know if we see the new world in the campaign though. We'll see about that. I do have some timber again. Let's have some more buildings here. What are we now? It's we are a curious port town. And a new edition of the newspaper has been pub published, so let's have a look at it. Really entirely marvelous to meet you. And that we may show truth or, or anything actually in my, uh, our broadsheet. Right, this is the newspapers. So this is a new feature in Anno. And we have uh, three articles here and two of them reduce um, the happiness in my town and one increases the happiness. So with increased happiness, I get more taxes. So I want to keep happiness as high as possible. And this doesn't look good. So we are losing like five happiness here in, in total. Was a riot so let's edit men. it. I and we get we gain influence. To take a stone to the head. <clears throat> when I we get to influence with the different achievements that we can have. Vanished. And now we have to edit these articles here to make them a bit more to our liking. So for example, I don't like so much unhappiness here. And the thing is, I don't see how many influence points we actually have. Let's just have this one here, this article about hypnosis. We instead of the workers. Absolutely behind you. <laughs> you are happier than you think. So this is one of the articles. So in total, I gain five happiness now. That should be enough. Oh, I've got 140 influence. So let's just have um, consumerism propaganda here and I get a few more taxes for that. So this is this is how I like a newspaper about myself, about my government, and let's publish this. And we've gained the influence wordsmith. And as you can see now, we have unlocked now the influence over here. And we get we gain more influence with more people, with more population. Gain an influence bonus. And with bonuses like that. We have 95 now. I'm not sure what else we can use those influence points on. I think there are some other ways. 
but newspaper is one of them. So are people a bit happier and my taxes have increased as well by 5% for now and I'm at 1100 balance quite like that it's a good money and we need another coal mine here as far as I can see a fire broke out let's build one here and let's have a look real quick where the fire is oh there's a bigger one over here and of course it's outside of the other fire stations so let's build one here again but it's taking time no they should reach it and there's the fire wagon Work already shortly. on its way this should uh, should be manageable though And I still have enough resources. Schnaps is going down though. So we definitely, we definitely need to build more potato farms. Okay, the weapon factory should now be possible then at some point. I do have enough steel beams. I just need to wait on the timber that we need to get for that and the fire looks under control I think perfect and Beryl Omaro has bought shares from Willy Wibblesock that's good to know I guess you can buy shares like in the other Anno games in the Anno 2205, 2070 and 1404 to um, make a hostile takeover of an island for example so if we go now to um, the shares here that I have on, on, on my um, port here, Sleepy Hollow, these are my shares, so I'm in total control of my island. I could just, if this was an opponent, I could just click on it and buy this share here. I don't want to sell it this time, but I could buy it for a large amount of sum. And if I have three of the shares, so the majority, I could take over the island um, which costs quite a lot but it's better than military force i think i don't like military in anno so we can just um, use that with um, financial force i find myself looking up to you as the youngest often will and there we have the cannon foundry or the weapon factory sorry not the cannon foundry there's just a cannon here as a symbol but it's called the weapon factory and it needs steel which we should be producing already. For the boss. Planting progress. Okay, so this one here still needs to plant trees before it can start producing. And now it can finally start with the coal production because one coal, a charcoal kin, is not enough for both of them. It doesn't look very big here, that area though, so I'm not sure, but he's producing quite a bit. So enough coal to support the furnace here. And then we can finally produce now weapons for our ships. Let's have a look at my shipyard. So I need to have two schooner or schooner. Let's build one. Costs quite a lot of timber, 20 and 10 tons of sail. And while my first ship is being produced or built, let's have another sh uh, potato farm here. Two more, I think. Two the more potato farms. Your city has grown uglier. And another potato farm. Fields here. And 
then we can have another distillery here and we need a second one let's have a second one here okay and we still have room to expand here so more potato farms here if we want to because schnapps is very important and this small warehouse won't do anymore it's completely overloaded the ramps so let's upgrade this one here we should be able to do that it needs another four tons of timber quite expensive 20 tons of timber 20 tons of bricks just to upgrade the warehouse i wonder if it's not cheaper to just build a second warehouse it probably is because it only costs me 10 tons of timber but let's upgrade anyway and see what we can gain by that so this is the upgraded warehouse now it has a third ramp and one a fourth uh, waiting ramp get that schnapps flowing we need more schnapps i hope there was enough and the worker cloth is going down as well but we have enough wool anyway so let's just build another factory here the knitters and i also want to have another warehouse here where people can unload and i still have some room here then to expand that should be good for now so we have enough fish we should be having enough uh schnapps and working clothes and sausages is growing but not as much as i like it to be so we probably will need more sausage let's have it up over here so here we can have another pig farm Five of them. I'm also going to build a warehouse. Where should I put it? Here. Let's put the warehouse there. Still have enough timber. Let's build a second pig farm. Ship constructed. hope that's enough we're lacking some workforce but that's okay and we should have built now the ship there it is i think yeah and this is our first ship that we produced ourselves that we built ourselves it's the razor clam the razor clam that's a fitting name and there is some something blinking on that on that ship what is that Looks like there's a robot on the on the ship or something. Steersman. But it's hidden in the cargo. Okay. Something is blinking in there. I hope it's not a bomb or something. And we've built this one here. Now we need the gunboat, two of them, and for that we need a lot more weapons. How high is production here? hundred percent almost, that's good to know. So the weapon foundry is working as intended. And let's also upgrade this warehouse here. But I think the upgrade costs a bit too high. I mean, I don't know. For one more ramp, I could just build a second warehouse. I think. Or I, I'm just not seeing a point here. Okay, let's upgrade a few more houses here. I need that workforce. Perfect, we're positive again. And, oh, schnapps is still going down. The same with the work clothes. Let's have a second one here. But they're all at 100% now. They should be producing a lot. 
but I don't take chances. So let's just build a potato farm. Let's build two potato farms and two more distilleries. We can afford that. We're not poor. That should definitely be enough schnapps now. So everyone's at 100%, they should definitely produce enough. And I think we don't... Yeah, we are locked on sale. It's at the maximum. And we have enough weapons now. Let's go to the harbor and start with the gunboat. That we can finish now and yeah this is going to be finished in the next episode so in this episode we will reach quite a bit i think we have our own steelworks now we pollute the air finally um it was way too clean anyway and we can have some weapons now for that and build the ships that we need uh, for the bulk order here so a good start for the next episode i think and hope to see you soon again stay tuned